One thing that's really interesting is whenever I'm talking to people about increasing their income, they always ask some form of the same question. And that is, well, where do I get started with this? Because so many times when it comes to increasing our skill sets or, you know, finding valuable knowledge that'll help us make money. The first thing that we tend to think of is the traditional antiquated educational system. Okay, do, do I get a degree or a certification for that? And the answer is no, not at all. And uh, there's actually three tools that I'm going to show you in this video um, that are specifically built to help you build wealth that you're probably already using and don't even realize that you can use them for that. So of these three free tools, the first one is YouTube. And this should not be a surprise to anybody. It's one of the most visited websites in the entire world. And it is the number one learning website ever. Okay, the amount of content and quality content, by the way, that is put on YouTube is incredible. Okay, you can get a detailed education in just about anything from how to tie a tie to how to fix something on your car and do it yourself versus taking it to the mechanic. Uh, you can learn to build a business on there, uh, how to, you know, pick just about any skill that you want. There's an incredible amount of information on there and sometimes something that is so comprehensive that you could probably just learn it for free on YouTube and then actually use it to make money. Uh, to give you a quick example would be sound editing, video editing, and lighting. I learned everything I know about this for free on YouTube. And you know they even had lists on there to show me exactly the equipment I should buy. I mean, everything was detailed down to get the camera settings right so I could get the effects that I wanted. And that's why my feeds are better than 80 to 90% of the population that you see out there. I hop on Zoom calls and people consistently ask me, I have C-level executives of billion dollar companies that I will talk to and they will ask me, how do you get your camera feed to look so good? How is your video so nice? And it's because I took a little bit of time and I leveled up my skills on it. You can learn valuable skills on YouTube, even though I don't do video editing and sound editing as you know part of my job, I'm not earning income from that. It helps with my digital presence, right? Gives me a little bit more of credibility than if I just had a crappy feed. So these are valuable skills that I've learned just on YouTube. Another thing that a lot of people don't realize is this. You can build a playlist on YouTube of things that you want to learn about. So if you want to learn more about money, you can create a playlist and put like money tips on there. If you are somebody who is trying to get better at carpentry, you can build a playlist on there. And as you scroll through, if you find videos that you're like, oh, wow, that was really good about carpentry. Um, you know, I'm going to save it for that because I want to start building furniture and selling it on the side. I mean, a lot of things you can do. Build playlists so you don't have to keep going back and finding videos. They will be ready to go whenever you need them. Um, the next one is Social Media 101. It doesn't really matter which social media platform you're talking about. The best place to learn about these social media platforms, in my opinion, is YouTube. Sure, you can learn about stuff on TikTok on TikTok or Instagram on Instagram. But the thing that, in my opinion, makes YouTube better than all of those to learn about all the other forms of social media in ways that you can make money, you know, utilizing them, whether it's through brand awareness or some other things, you know, it's because YouTube is the one that is the most dedicated to long form. And all the data shows that when people get on YouTube, they watch videos longer than they do with the short form stuff. We get bored with short form too quick, but something about that vertical video will make us stay on it longer. So social media 101, a lot of ways that you can increase your income, you know, using something like that. Learn about it on YouTube. And the next is real-time information. Some of the best in-depth uh, reporting, for lack of a better term, uh, that I have learned about important issues that were happening in an industry, in an industry happening in an economy. Um, you know, I've been able to be like, hey, what was happening specifically in Silicon Valley when this was happening? It's amazing the information you can find on YouTube from credible sources. And now granted, there's a lot of bad information out there, a lot of people that aren't credible. But if you know who you're looking for, the majority of them one way or the other, whether it's their own channel or they're talking to somebody on a podcast or an interview, it's going to end up on YouTube. So make sure that you're getting in there for real time information, things that could be really important when it comes down to generating income, making smarter investments or whatever the case may be. The next one, podcasts. All right. Better than music. 
I, I love music. I play guitar, I play drums, I play a couple different instruments. I'm a huge music fan. But when I'm in the car, especially when I'm on long drives, I can only listen to so much music. And one thing that I've found is that by listening to podcasts that are specifically about things that help me grow my skill sets, understand my industry, learn new things. Maybe it's not even specifically tied to what I'm doing, but it's just something that expands my mindset a little bit. You know, it makes me more open and more empathetic to others. That is something that I find podcasts is incredibly powerful to. So there's nothing wrong with getting a fiction podcast and listening to some crime, murder, mystery, or anything like that. But again, make sure that you're using podcasts as a way to build up your skill sets, to differentiate yourself, to become more of an expert in a certain area. Um, the access to people that you can get uh, that have been successful at whatever it is you're trying to do on podcasts is astounding. There's a podcast for almost everything. People love to get on them. I have my own podcast, The Stephen Corson Show. You can check it out there where I talk about money tips and investing and building wealth. Um, the, the access of people I have been able to get in touch with by having my own podcast, let alone just listening to them, it's been astounding. Um, the other thing is that it's easy to consume, right? A lot of times I'll have a podcast on while I'm cooking dinner for the kids or you know, if I'm you know, just on a quick walk with the dog or something like that, there's no video. I don't, it actually gives my eyes a rest because I don't want to constantly be looking at screens. So I really like the audio only. Um, so that's another really big advantage when it comes to podcasts. And the, the other thing I really love about podcasts is when people get on podcasts, they're normally in it for the long haul. So you will find, I mean, one of the most popular, not one of the most, the most popular podcasts is Joe Rogan. Well, Joe Rogan's podcasts on average are like two and a half to five hours. I mean, who in the world? I, we can't even watch TV shows that are that long, let alone anything else. But people will listen to them, you know, over over time. So the stories, the level of of depth that they can get into. Um, I was listening one to just recently that was actually talking to a presidential candidate. And he was going in depth on what he thought and the policies he can, you know, wanted to enact and all these other things in a level that you will not hear on debates. And I just thought it was absolutely fascinating. So the stories, the experiences, the expertise that people have on, on podcasts, it's incredibly valuable. And then the last thing, like I said, is just expanding your horizons. There's a lot of things to be learned and you know, they say, the more that I learn, the more that I learn, I don't know. And uh, it, it continues to be true for me. As much as I love learning about money and investing, the more I get into it, the more I realize, wow, there's a lot of things I don't know. So expanding my horizons, podcasting has made me, you know, just able to see this stuff, um, you know, in ways that I never would have before. And when I say see it, I really mean listen to it. Because again, <laughs> unless you're watching it somewhere else, uh, you're not. And then the last one is LinkedIn. I have to stress this one a lot. And one thing I want to say before I get into LinkedIn, all three of these platforms, podcasting, LinkedIn, and YouTube, I have left out a key component to all of them, which is that you can use these platforms to make money yourself. If you have any type of entrepreneurial spirit, starting your own business, whatever the case is, even with LinkedIn, I, I like to tell people, you don't even have to own your own business to build a brand on LinkedIn and use it to build money. All three of these platforms you can absolutely use to you know, build income for yourself as well. I've left that completely out of this. This is strictly about you know, learning and connecting uh, you know, with other people. So with LinkedIn, the biggest thing is just to grow your network. LinkedIn has the lowest amount of bots out of any other social media platform. So when you connect to somebody, 99.9% .9 of the time, it is that person, okay? Uh, the access to leadership that you can get on LinkedIn, not just, you know, at other places, but within your own company. If you have a nine to five job, um, you may only speak to your boss, your boss's boss, maybe two to three times a year. So the fact that you can get access to them, if they're active on LinkedIn, you can see what they're thinking. If not, you can differentiate, differentiate yourself by posting. If they get on LinkedIn, they'll see your name on there. And again, building your personal brand is essentially what all this is is about get on there and create like get a really nice photo of yourself 
um, get a cool banner across the top and put a little time into your profile. Whenever you go to interview at a place, over 70% uh, of recruiters look at your LinkedIn before they ever go through your resume. So it's really important that you have a good up-to-date LinkedIn. Uh, it looks fresh and it represents you well. It's a huge part of your personal brand. Um, learn, from, learn from influencers. Uh, LinkedIn influencers over the past two to three years have skyrocketed in quality and quantity. I actually count myself a part of them. I have thousands of followers on LinkedIn and I am there daily and posting what I hope anyway is good, valuable content. I am giving away 90% of the best stuff that I know completely for free for people to be able to consume. All right. And I follow a lot of LinkedIn influencers that are doing the exact same thing in theirs. I have learned about copywriting um, and did not realize how important of a skill copywriting was for business and sales. Uh, and that is something I have learned, again, completely for free from experts on LinkedIn. Uh, it's been an absolutely valuable skill that I wish I would have learned earlier in life. Um, yeah, thanks to LinkedIn. I know it now. And then another thing is this, and I didn't want to get too much into the how to make money on these platforms, but I had to say this because so many people don't know this. You can list your services on LinkedIn. If you are somebody who has a side hustle or it's your primary business, you do social media management, you do photography, uh, you know, carpentry, first, uh, personal training, any of these things, there is a place on LinkedIn to where you can actually go and list your services for people to search for locally. It's a fantastic tool that not a lot of people are even aware of on there. So again, I, I, that's a completely different discussion for another time of how to use these free tools um, to make money. Um, but I had to, I just had to absolutely mention that one on there. It's great. And for bonus one, one thing that's on LinkedIn is LinkedIn actually has a learning section to where um, you have to pay to get access to some of the videos, but they have a lot of free videos on there as well from professionals who are at the top of their game and they'll teach you about something on there. A lot of quality videos on there. So LinkedIn, check it out. A lot of great things. I had didn't even get into all the features because some of that's very role dependent. Um, you know, but like I said, these are great free tools that you can use. And for one more bonus one, if that's not good enough, and you're like, Steven, those are great. Can you give me one more? Okay, here you go. Boom. This go to my website, stevencorson.me and go to the newsletter up at the top. If you don't want to subscribe yet and you're like, let me just see if any of this is good. You don't want it in your email. That's fine. You can read it all for free right there. And every week I am putting out articles on how to build wealth in your life, how to make more income, how to grow your skill sets. So if that is something that interests you, go to stephencorson.me and you can check it all out there. Okay. So hopefully if you came into this podcast and you were like, man, I don't know where to start. I wish, you know, I had some tools that just would help me figure out what I could do to start earning more money. Everything's expensive. I'm not making enough. What can I do? Hopefully this has been exactly what you needed to hear to get you motivated to go and use these things that you're probably just using for entertainment and flip it around and start using it to build wealth.